Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 13 of the Spring Boot Security course. In this episode, we are going to see how we can secure REST controllers. In the previous one, we looked at how we can configure our views and how to enable role-based authorization for them or for various you know, sections of our application. And now we're going to take a look at how we can secure our REST endpoints. Before we get started, I would like to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel in order to stay tuned for more courses that will sharpen your programming skills. Okay, I fired up the application again and we successfully managed to allow authorization for our views but for example if you try to navigate to our API public test one, method, uh, test one resource for example we can access it and again if you're trying to access our REST uh, API method test 2 we can also access it even though we are not uh, authenticated okay uh, just to just to have a quick reminder so we have our admin controller home controller management controller and profile controller and we also have this public rest api controller and this controller you know because it's a rest controller obviously it just returns you know data it does not uh, have any view associated with it but now this is pretty much unsecure so each time our users you know um issue an HTTP request towards any of these methods then these are not secure and we would like to also have them secure. Let's see how we can do that uh, in our application. Well we have to open our security configuration again and what I want you to understand is that it's pretty pretty easy to secure you know those routes. We can use ant matchers again and for example we can say that you know we have API public you know test one and we can say is authenticated and for example we can do the same thing for api public test two route okay so here we are not protecting views we're actually protecting resources or rest resources and it's the same syntax i mean um the Spring security configuration is the same regardless if you want to protect views or REST resources. And now if we fire up if we fire up our application and we try to access it again, we should see that our REST routes are now secure. So we go to localhost 8082, we say API public test one. And now, you know, we have HTTP basic authentication. We need to provide some username and password. And now, you know, we can access uh, these REST endpoints, which is pretty cool. Obviously, um, we can, you know, protect them in a granular way. We can also protect them, you know, with wildcards. So, for example, if we do something like this, then all the REST endpoints that are located under dash API dash public will be um protected and the user needs to be authenticated before he can access uh, any of them now of course we can also use you know the same things that we use for views for example i can say that only the admin you know is allowed to access those http endpoints for example it doesn't make a lot of sense but we can imagine that we have some um, rest endpoints that you know provide some information to the administrative section and we only want the admin to be able to access those api calls so we modified our config like this i'll open up a new incognito window and then we have localhost 8082 api public test one and now if you try to authenticate with a user which is not an administrator you know we are not allowed to do that so we actually need to authenticate oops something okay i missed out the password okay so you need to be administrator in order to access these resources cool now everything is working as expected I will leave this rest <clears throat> matcher like this and you can see that 
um, protecting REST resources is basically the same as protecting your views. So there is really not there is really no difference between protecting views and resources, which is a pretty cool thing because it allows our um, security configuration to be you know pretty standard across everything that we intend to protect. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.RomanianCoder.com Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye!